Alright. There's one more person I want to hang out with in this chapter. Because, well, after this chapter, we really can't hang out with them. Well, in the next chapter, we can't really hang out with them. That person is Taka. Because, ugh, we all know what happened end of the second trial. Taka is just traumatized after the loss of Fujisaki and his bro. So, we gotta spend time with him now. Before all that shit happens. So, Tonka's up here. I believe he's over here? Yes, he is. Alright, Ishimaru. <laughs> oh, this again. Now, hold on, before we begin, let me just see, uh... I have one page with him, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, because of that remarkable influence. Alright, so I just need three times with him? That should be no problem. Yes, 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 we've seen this before. Let's go take a bath with Ishimaru. <laughs> Let's see if I have any presents to give Ishimaru. I believe I do. Alright, let me try giving this to him. Hmm, you've got some promise, Nagi. We should spend more time together, strengthen our bonds. Seems to have liked it a bit. Nagi, I've been meaning to tell you this for some time. And now that I have you alone, I would do- I would like to do just that! W what is it? Your sweatshirt is really quite something. Uh, thanks. A sweatshirt underneath your uniform. Your sense of style, it's truly splendid. Distracting! You are quite emphatically a disturbance to the school's peace! I'm sorry. Is it against the rules? Well, that school is pretty loose about that. Maybe so, but this is Kibogamina Academy. So long as air fills my lungs, I will ensure order is maintained. Rend yourself of that excessively stylish sweatshirt right this instant. Th this instant? Right away. Crap, he's serious. I gotta come up with some kind of excuse. Or I'm really gonna have to take it off. Oh. Uh, it protects my head. I can use it to protect my head, sort of like a hard hat. Like a hard hat? Yeah, sure, I mean, this is a dan pretty dangerous place. There's no saying what could happen, you know? So, just to be safe. Hmm, you make a fair point. I know, right? In that case, I can make a special exception for you. Just for the time being. But as soon as school resumes normal operation, I will have you out of that sweatshirt post-haste! Uh, Alright. Got it. It disturbs me to know how ignorant of, of fashion students are these days. Nobody seems to understand what student fashion truly is. This is as good as an opportunity as any. I'll teach you what a real what real student fashion is. Huh? Surprise doesn't quite ex describe how I felt hearing him use teach and fashion in the same sentence. I wear this uniform 365 days a year, whether it be rain or shine, cloudy or clear. Even on breaks? School may go on break, but there are no breaks from the lifestyle known as Academia. So as long as I remain in Academia, I shall envelop myself in the mantle of the lifestyle. I... I see. By the way, I have ten separate identical uniforms, so there's no... nothing unhygien unhygienic or unusual about it. Nope, that's definitely unusual. Who wears their uniform on breaks? Not that I could say that to him. <laughs> Give it a try sometime. It really puts your head where it needs to be. Though I can't say this surprises me, coming from him. <laughs> oh, Ishimaru, you crazy bastard. After parting ways with Ishimaru, I return to my room for a little. Still got some time left. Alright, so let's go find Ishimaru again. Dressing room. Of course. <laughs> of 
Uh, hold on. I'm gonna save first because I don't know if I need to give him another present. Alright. Hey, Nagi, how's it going? Should I hang with Ishimaru? Of course. What? You want to know more about me? Very well. Very well, then. Allow me to share with you my opinions on a variety of subjects. I listen to Ishimaru share his opinions on a variety of subjects. <laughs> nah. I'm at a loss, Nagi. At a complete and utter loss. What's wrong? Can you not see it? <laughs> that there's something of unparalleled importance missing from the school. Classes! Textbooks! Actually, I was thinking we were better off without them. To be perfectly honest, I'm in a panic. When I think of the other students out there, leaving me in their dust. It drives me up the wall. What should I do, Nagi? If I continue to neg neglect my studies like this, I'll end up flunking out. Y you don't need to get so worked up about it. You'll be fine. You're always at the top of your class when you're at your when you're at that prep school, weren't you? That just goes to show how much of a genius you really are. So you missing a few days of study and a normal person missing a few days are completely different. Did you say genius? Would you please refrain from referring to me in such a way? Huh? I am not a genius. I am a perfectly average regular human being. I came from a middle I come from a middle class family. Actually, no. We're poorer than that. And I've been working, fighting, doing everything in my power to tear down that wall. Geniuses don't move the world. Ordinary people do. Through continued effort and perseverance. And to prove that I'm not wrong about that, I must persist in my endeavors. I must not falter. Do not call me a genius, you hear me? I am not some lazy bum who knows nothing of hard work. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, um, my apologies as well. I got a bit too hot-headed there. I'm telling you this, Nagi, because you and I, we're the same. We're both ordinary people who know how important hard work is. So please, understand where I'm coming from. Y yeah, I do. I pour my heart into my job as a prefect for the very same reason. I want to construct an environment which everyone can put their best foot forward, and I am willing to work my hands to the bone to achieve that, even at the expense of my own time. I want everyone to understand that you'll only get something out of your life if you put effort into it. A world that operates on any other principle is nothing but fantasy. Hard work is everything. It's the answer to all the world's problems. And it's my job to prove that the, ordin the other ordinary people out there are working their asses off every day. I'll prove it for them. I'm, I must, as an ordinary man, exceed the abilities of the so-called geniuses. I came here to K Kibogami and Academy with that goal hanging in front of me like a carrot on a stick. But instead, we're all locked up in here. I've lost any chance to... I had to put my hard work to the test. What am I to do? Shimaru. I apologize, Nagi, for being so pitiful, whining at you like this. No, not at all. I get why you're frustrated. It just shows how strong your conviction is. Just don't let that frustration get to your head and give you any funny ideas, alright? You truly believe in the power of hard work, and I think you'd be wrong if you gave up on that. I mean, that's really what hard work is, isn't it? Not giving up. That seems to have completely slipped my mind until you reminded me. The very foundation of which hard work, effort, and endeavor stand is an unyielding spirit. Of course, I can push myself toward my goal no matter the circumstances if there are no new classes to take. I can just go back over what I've already learned and reinforce the fundamentals. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad I could speak with you, Nagi. It's never before felt so refreshing to open up and spill my guts to someone. As a token of my appreciation, I would love to invite you to one of my self-study sessions. Let us drive each other to new heights and show the genius is just what us normal people are capable of. His expression once again returned to one of the overflowing confidence, and I felt like I was starting to understand just what it was that made him tick. Though he hadn't changed my mind about him being a genius, a genius at working hard, I couldn't help but wonder, 
if there was some reason. He has such an antagonistic attitude towards geniuses. And we got the skill Man of Steel. What does Man of Steel do? Oh, reduce, takes reduced damage from making a mistake. Not that I will make a mistake, because I know these trials like the back of my fucking hand. So, yeah. Not all that useful to me, but, uh, you know. To some people it might. <laughs> anyway, night time. Blah, 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 blah. Monokuma Theater. And cafeteria again. I don't know why, I'll just cut all this out. Probably will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Alright, Ishimaru. Uh, okay, Hall again. This is gonna be the last time we really need to hang out with Ishimaru. No, it's not his usual spot. There's Chihiro. Oh, uh, there's Ishimaru. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save again, because I don't know if I need to give him a present or not. Alright. <laughs> hmm, good to know, Ishimaru. I drank tea courtesy of Ishimaru in the cafeteria. Uh, let's see what happens I say now. Oh, damn it, I do need to give him a present. I don't care that I still have time left. Yeah. Alright. I hate how it takes- Oh no, not chapter select. Continue, yes. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, let's hang out. Drink tea with Ishimaru. And present. Okay. I think I know what else you'd like. Oh, I don't have any more of those. What is a blot? Then edible dissolve siege of search. Powdered drug. This powdered drug's easier to this. Maybe time might be a little too sharp now. No. A master's fountain pen. like that. What do you say the two of us hold a study session, Nagi? Come, join me in my room. If you come across anything you don't understand, I'll gladly explain it for you in excruciating detail. Excruciating detail might be going a bit far, but sure, I'll join you. Ura, Let's do this! <laughs> Ishimaru marched off, heading for his room, and I followed close behind. Come in, come in, welcome! You're the first guest I've ever had in this room. Not to waste my time. Not to waste any time, I'll start off by posing you a question, Nagi. A, a question? No worry, it's a simple problem. The most basic of basics. <laughs> You'll have no problem with this one. It's just a fun little warm-up. Put it like that, and I feel even more pressure not to screw this up. Here goes. What country is the first... Uh, what country is the first use of the concept zero as a number attributed to? Um, I think I remember something. I remember hearing it was a country somewhere in Asia. Obviously not Greece, I think it was India. It was India, wasn't it? That's my Nagi, you're exactly right. All right, now my blood is really pumping. From here on out, it's you and me. We'll show those damned lazy geniuses what real hard work can do. Hey, uh, Ishimaru? Yes, what is it? You really despise the word genius, don't you? You think I bear a grudge against them? Huh? Well, you're very perceptive. But why? 
There is a man. A man I respect and loathe more than anyone. A man whom I must surpass at all costs. That man was what you would call a genius. What? Tora Nosuke Ishimaru, my grandfather. Have you heard that name before? He was once the Prime Minister of Japan. Th the Prime Minister? Before that, he served as the Minister for Foreign Affairs, and then as the Cabinet... As, then as the Chief Cabinet Secretary. And he climbed that ladder with only a high school diploma to his name. Not even any sponsor support. He was the very definition of a genius. A man who could apparently effortlessly accomplish anything. Wow. And he's your grandfather? He knew nothing of failure, obtaining great success at an, um, an, un, at an unimaginable speed. But as with everything in nature, there was an equal and opposite reaction. In his naivete, he ended up sparking a political corruption scandal. I believe his genius caused him to underestimate the world around him. Just as fast as he rose to power, he fell right back down. He wasn't chased out of politics either. His personal enterprise came tumbling down with him. The debt of my grandfather left behind still weighs heavily on my family's shoulders. A few years back, he passed away. In his final years, he refused to speak to anyone. So many people used to speak so highly of him. He was almost exclusively family at his funeral. I'm sorry to hear that. Genius. Both a bountiful blessing and terrible curse. The curse of being able to attain success without learning the value of hard work. Because of that, there is no one in this world more fragile than they. More susceptible to small mistakes. Much the way my grandfather was. And that's why you hate geniuses, Ishimaru? <sighs> I have learned from my grandfather's mistakes. I won't let my I won't let myself fall into the same trap. I shall, with the sure, unwavering power of hard work, accomplish even greater things than my grandfather. Lend me your hand, Nagi, and we'll turn this world into a place where reward is proportional to effort. Yeah, we will. Although unlike him, I'm not actually capable of accomplishing such a lofty goal. You've truly made my day, Nagi. I thought when, came here, when I came here to Kibyogu Mine Academy that everyone would be a genius, an enemy. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect I would find an ally, a comrade. Meeting you has truly been a blessing, an eternal life-changing blessing. I look forward to having the opportunity to work alongside you in the future. Yeah, me too. Now, let us, re let us resume our study session. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Ishimaru tick. And I really feel like we can call each other friends now, in every sense of the word. Alright. And that is enough for the free time events of these people. So I will see you guys next time for when we tackle Chapter 3. Yeah, see you guys then. Bye.